No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Limelight, makers of professional lighting for independent filmmakers. My Road Reel International Film Contest. Enter at myroadreel.com. Hey, this is Joe. I'm here at the uh, Atomos booth. And we're talking to Will. Yep. And so you guys have a few new products this year. Yep. Uh, so if you want to talk about the uh, Ninja yep. Bla uh, Star and the okay. Shogun. Sure, sure. So this is our Shogun over here and the Ninja Star here. These are two new uh, devices that we launched at NAB 2014, which we're at right now. The Shogun is our 4K recorder. Uh, we record, of course, it still records SD and HD. In HD, it'll record up to 120 FPS. And in 4K, we can record our ProRes over DNX or Cinema DNG RAW for those RAW fanatics. It'll record up to our 30p or 60i in 4K. Um, it's got a beautiful screen, 7 inches IPS touchscreen panel, uh, 1920 by 1200, so it's a full HD screen as well. Fully calibrated to SimDirect 709. And like always, we record the standard 2.5 inch hard drives and solid state drives. If you're recording 4K to a spinning disc, we'll just have a RAID solution for you and you put it in the back. And that's anyone out there on the market that's on our approved or recommended list. Um, as usual, there's all the usual... Uh, uh, features such as you know waveform monitoring, vector scope, focal peaking, uh, all that sort of stuff. So prior to acquisition, you can make sure your exposure and focus is, is perfect, uh, so you're not wasting your own time. And then there's cut and tag editing as well, which allows you to put tags in the metadata, so you can see in your post-production stage uh, what you've favorited and what you've rejected, and just speed up that. So now this is this is 4K and 1080 only. Is there any 2K option or any plans for maybe a 2K option? Uh, not at the moment, but in the future, yeah, probably. So now you've got the got the both the uh, SDI and the HDMI That's inputs. Correct. Now, what are the frame rates? Are they they're different over HDMI and uh, SDI? Do you no, get they're the same? Okay. They're the same. Yeah. So in uh, 4K, you'll be able to do 30p in, or in 60i, and uh, in full HD, you'll be able to do up to uh, two, uh, 120 frames per second, and everything down below from that, of course. Yeah. Okay. So also new this year is the, the Ninja Star. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so the Ninja Star is on the other end of the spectrum. It's a stripped down recorder. Basically, there's no screen and we record to ProRes. It's really light, 100 grams, which is 3.5 ounces. It's about three inches, you can see. It's, it's the size of a credit card or a packet of cigarettes, even smaller. And we record to CFast cards, which is a really new uh, type of solid state media, um, which is a little bit expensive at the moment, but the prices are dropping and we're expecting it to be real consumer level pricing by the end of the year. It's, it's, you know, this is for those people that already have a small HD that they really love because it's got a HDMI out. Um, all those people that record need a recorder for their secondary cameras, so they're not too worried about, they don't want to spend huge amounts of money for that. And even for those, the ultra lightness of it makes it very practical for the DJI helicopters and those other quadcopters and stuff like that. So we're really expecting that sort of market to take to this product. So power-wise, what, what are you looking at here? Uh, all our devices are powered by Sony MPF batteries. We give you one in the box. Um, we give you, you, there's also a Canon battery adapters and Nikon battery adapters if they're your batteries of choice. And in everything we include an AC adapter as well. So and it's got continuous power, really, it's no problem. One battery in that will, will last you over five hours of recording time. So it's a real efficient uh, device. So now you can actually, even though there's no screen, you can yeah. change recording formats and everything else right from the outside. That's right. Uh, you know, some of our competitors, you have to attach it to the computer and then change the settings and take it. There's no real in the field, on the fly uh, adjustment of your settings. This will do exactly that. You just through the, the buttons there, it's pretty clear. After using it for five minutes, you'll understand exactly uh, how to control it. So yeah, we've been really, um, we've listened to the feedback from our users and understand that that was really important. Another thing is to signify when we're recording. It's really easy to understand. Okay, now we're recording. And so you're not sitting there under thinking, oh, are we actually recording or not? Yeah. Right. So now you could also, this is HDMI only, yeah. but you could also use your Connect HD SDI yeah. to HDMI. Yeah, and we expect many people to do that. You know, the Connect just fits nicely on the back there in the uh, MPF battery slot. And yeah, you can just have a HD SDI camera. Yeah, perfect. So now the, the A7S that's new from Sony, so you guys developed that with them yeah. in terms of the 4K recording. Well, we knew about it from very early on, and they asked us, um, would we want to launch uh, our Shogun or announce our Shogun at this event? They asked us if we had one, and we said, well, yeah, of course we're working on one. We weren't really wanting to launch it this early because we don't like to launch it so far out from shipping. It's shipping August, September. Um, but, you know, when Sony comes knocking on your door and says we've got this, you know, a mirrorless full full uh, frame sensor that's outputting uh, 4K over HDMI, and we want to 
use you in our press releases and vice versa. I mean, do you say no to that? No, of course not. So I don't think everyone at NAB understands, you know, six months is a, a reasonable time frame to release a product and it's such a great product that they would rather have that this view this early bird view of it rather than learn about it third hand from IBC or something. So yeah. We worked really closely with um with uh, Sony, yeah. So now, price and we'll just talk about price and availability for for both of them. Yep. Yep. Uh, so the Shoguns are retailing for going to retail for 19.95 plus taxes, and then uh, the Ninja Star will be 295. So they're opposite ends of the spectrum. One's a very you know professional level monitor recorder, and the other one is it's still professional, but it, it's got a different use case for it, and it's really cheap because we've stripped out a lot of the more expensive, um, heavier functions to make it for that lighter design. And the show going to be available later in this, the year? Yeah, uh, August, September. We're hoping uh, by IBC we can na announce now shipping, and everyone will be really excited for that. Yeah. And the star? Uh, Ninja Star shipping uh, in six weeks' time, mid-May. So, yeah, just uh, put in orders with your with your reseller, your, your local guy, and you'll have them any time now. Okay, so we're looking at the Ninja Blade right now. Yeah, this is the Ninja Blade. Uh, it was released at BVE in uh, 2014. That's the show over in London. Uh, already won, it's already won awards, which is really great. Basically, it's uh, the cousin of the Samurai Blade, which is the SDI version. This is a HDMI version. It's a 5-inch IPS panel touch screen, uh, 1280 by 720. It's absolutely beautiful. If you look, the lovely lady here is holding it. So I got because of the great screen, it's got waveform functionality, vector scope, Luma Parade. It's also got your focal peaking, Zebra, and all that. And it's in a really nice, the Atom OS 5, which is really intuitive, easy to use. Everything is two touches away. And as per usual, it records onto 2.5 inch hard drives and solid state drives into ProRes and Avid DNX HD up to uh, 30p and 60i. Um, and it all comes in for a nice price point of $995. So it's uh, been really, really popular, especially with like your C100s and your 5D Mark III's, your FS700s, etc. So FS100s, etc. So. And then also, too, if you wanted to do HDMI to HDSDI or yeah. vice versa, you could use either one with your connectors. Exactly, exactly. You know, a lot of people prior to this were using the Samurai Blade, which uh, retails for $1295 and getting a, a H2S converter, a HDMI to HDSDI converter for $295. Now they can do the flip of that, $995 for this and get a SDI to HDMI converter for $295 and save themselves a couple of hundred dollars there. Right. And that's been really popular as well. And of course, those converters have their own use cases as well. So, right. so you can essentially get something that's the same price by using your converter as the same price as the as yeah. the blade, the uh, Samurai blade, and you'll yeah. get the The dual functionality bolt. of HDMI and HDSDI, exactly, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's been really popular and we're really, uh, it was great launching, having a product to launch two months before uh, NAB, and then surprising everyone with yet more products to launch right. at NAB. Our engineers have been really busy de de delivering these great products, yeah. And now this is shipping right now? Shipping right now, it's been shipping for a couple of months. Um, We've already gone through two runs and sold absolutely out. So uh, there should be more units coming into your resellers uh, this week, really. So, yeah. Okay. Excellent. No, thank you. Thank you very much. No Film School, we love you guys.